Hey, what's up, tubers? This is Super Dale here. And today in this video, I will show you how you can cast from your MetaQuest 2, 3, 3S, or Oculus, just, just in case you all have those devices. Use this to cast to some devices that you already currently have. So now, if you're following me, you know I come from the cord cutting community where we actually use the cut the cable we use streaming devices such as NVIDIA Shields, Apple TV 4K. We use ARM products. We use Formula, Buzz TV, Zadu. There are plenty of them out there that you can actually use to cut the cord. But in this situation, this device right here, the MetaQuest 3, has become my favorite streaming devices. You know, my favorite streaming device um, because the capability that it does, right? Uh, from hosting, watching a movie together and TV shows to just sitting back engaging with, you know, people or entertaining people in the auditorium, you know, looking at YouTube, you know, pay-per-view, live TV, all of that, again, on your Metal Quest. And it's pretty, pretty nice. But again, we're talking about casting. And some of y'all don't know that you can actually cast to some of your household devices now you can use the browser um, but with some televisions they don't give you a browser some smart televisions don't give you a browser it might be older smart tv whatever but we do have some devices here that will help out one of the devices right here as you see is the chromecast with google tv you'll be able to use this device also you will be able to use a device like this you know, the on um, 4K streaming box that's running Google TV. This one, are, you see this one is running Google TV as well. Also, you got another one right here. This is the on 4K streaming device. This is the 4K Pro, as you see right here. And it's running what? Google TV. And then you got the big dog right here. The big dog right here. The NVIDIA Shield, a lot of y'all do have this um, device inside your residence or place of business. You can cast this to here. Now, the Shield does not run. It does not run on Google TV, but it runs Android TV OS. And, again, it's pretty much it's going to work the same. Now, for Fire TV, you can cast to those, you know, whether it's a Cube, uh, Fire Stick 4K, 4K Max, or the Fire TV uh, Stick Lite. Whichever one you want to use, you can cast to those too, but I'm going to do a separate video for that one. So, with that being said, I'm going to show you, I do have a ARM 4K already plugged up, all right? That is right here. And I'm doing this in real time, no cutting anything. This is it right here. This is the big dog right here that you can get from Walmart. This is this device right here. And we got plenty of videos with those on here. But I'm going to show you how you can use this device to cast to. So if you want to show somebody gameplay, watch a movie, or show them, you know, work, or you on your laptop or things like whatever you want to show People who may be in a room with you, you can do it. You can cast out. Um, but the first thing you're going to have to do, let me do this. I'm going to go to this feed right here. All right. Let me do this. All right. Here it is right here. All right. So the first thing I would suggest that you do, go over to the settings. If you're on Google TV, go to settings. If you're on Android TV OS, go to settings. But again, I'm doing this on a Google TV operating system right now. All right. So you hit settings. You go to settings. Click on it. First thing you want to do is go down to system. Highlight it. Move, direct, move the directional button to the right. And then you want to go down to about, which you see right here. Go to the right on the directional pad. And you see this right here? Device name. You want to change that. You want whatever you name unique name you want to give it give it a unique name and the reason i say that is because if you got three 40s in your home maybe two more than two in your home all right 
they will all say on 4K Pro or on 4K or Chromecast with Google TV. They're going to all say the same thing. So with that being said, that's why you need to change the name. And as you see, I, I changed the name. Mine's is Dale Box 1. But if you want to change it, definitely go down here where it says Enter Custom Name. You click on that, you give it a name, and you're pretty much done. Okay, you're done. So only thing I will have to do once you change the name, all right, I can go right here on the Oculus. Let me move this mic down right quick. I'm going to put it. So let me, all right, I think we're pretty much good. All right. And I'm going to show you what you have to do. All right. And let me go down here on your, on your, um, on your device, on your streaming device, you would definitely have to go down to uh, the camera option. And I'm going to show you all of that. All right. So let me just go over here and pick my device, Dale Box 1. And now you should see me casting. All right. Again, this taskbar right here, and it tells you you are now casting to Dale Box 1. And again, I am... You know, I activated uh, my pass-through, uh, you know, well, basically deactivated. So if I want to deactivate this right here, you see this goggle icon? If I turn that on, you're going to see my desk, all right? You see, I got a lot of devices up here, a lot of things I do in the background. But when I go back to turn it on, you get this nice, clean setup right here. You see right here it says cash. You say, well, Dale, how do I get to it? Either you're going to see the camera button here or just go over here to where it says library. If you click on library, there go the camera right there. And again, you will click, click on your camera. You will go up here to where it says casting. And when you go to casting, it's going to bring a list of devices in your home and you just look to whatever you name your device you see mine is called dell box one it's as simple as that and you can go in and do whatever you want to all right um and that's just how easy it is i mean it is easy as that um if i want to show people how to get to one of my favorite applications on this device i can go right here and go into big screen, which you will see right here. I love big screen. I'm going to do a separate video for this application right here. This is where we be having our party. And again, watch when it connect, creating the room. All right, I'm going to just move that over because, again, you know, we can move things over. Uh, just move it over to the side using my, my middle finger. Um, uh, you know, right here on the the controller. But look at this, all this room that we have up in here, and we can actually watch movie, TV shows, uh, games, pay-per-views, any type of sporting event, or we can just sit back and go to YouTube. We can move all of that. So we'll get into all of that, you know, everything that you need that I'll be doing, including giving yourself you know, uh, some box seats. And so, again, if I want to change it, I can go up here and, you know, i do this if y'all want to. And that way I can keep an eye on my room. I can actually go up and you see how high I am. And so when people come up in here and you got some kids or some grown folk that's just acting silly, I'll be able to kick them out easily. That's just a tip right there. So if you're familiar with it, you can definitely have fun in here. But other than that, guys, this is how you will cast to your, you know, your your streaming device that's running Android TV OS or Google TV. And again, I'll do a separate video for the one for Fire Sticks, you know, um, um, Fire TV operating system so you have any questions guys please let me know this has been definitely a fun 
streaming device that I use pretty much every single day. All right, let me sit that right there. And again, uh, so many of us actually use this device now. I mean, we love our streaming devices, don't get us wrong, but we can also, you know, chill and rather we're by ourselves or with 15 other people in an auditorium or playing some games, retro game, Xbox, PS5. Uh, you want to play some Android games. I will show you all of that, including jailbreaking this bad boy, because you can sideload your applications onto this device right here. And I will show you that in another video. Guys, if you need anything, talking about this just let me know in the comments if you like this video please thumbs it up share it you can do that also guys if you're not subscribed definitely subscribe to the channel and we'll go from there just remember i go live every monday and friday at 7 p.m eastern standard time so make sure you got your notifications that little bell right there Make sure you select that and drop down. Hit the drop down little button and select all. All right, guys. I'm out of here. This is Superdale, and I will see you on the next one, guys. Peace. I'm out.